Hello Leo and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the next two weeks, which is from the 27th of December 21 to the 10th of January 2022. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time, to see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle. And this is the two penny oracle that I'll be using today to draw a couple of cards from just to start your reading off with. So let's see what's on the cards for Leo for the 27th of December 21 to the 10th of January 2022. What messages are here for Leo for the next two weeks? What does Leo need to know at this time? So, just take, oh, we may as well take that one as well. Let's just take those two cards and let's see what you get. You get language and olefaction. All right, so olefaction is, uh, you know, sussing things out, detectoring, being a bit of a sleuth. So you may have to investigate things. And then language is about needing to speak out, speaking clearly, perhaps hearing what is being spoken to you. Um, and it doesn't need necessarily be the spoken word. It could also sort of be what um, what are people saying? What's being said through body language, through... Um, you, yeah, you may need to interpret what's being said. So um, there's, there's a degree of needing to um, not only, exp you know, often this usually would say this is about expressing yourself but I get a sense here with these two cards together it's more about you needing to read between the lines in order to understand um, and hear what is being um, imparted to you what, what you know what messages are there what's being said so there you have language and honor faction but let's see where the rest of the reading takes us. So let's see what is on the cards for Leo for the 27th of December to the 10th of January 2022. What messages are here for Leo for the next two weeks? What does Leo need to hear? <laughs> That's just thinking how obvious that is, how, how that ties up with your cards. So this is the five cent tarot that I'll be using today to put down an eight card spread for you, Leo, with the first two cards depicting you in your current situation, where you are now. And the next two cards, highlighting the challenges you face at this time. The following two cards, offering you some guidance from divine energies. As you move towards the final two cards, which may reveal your potential outcome to this time period. It sort of shows the energies you're moving towards. So let's see what you get. The sun and temperance where you begin. But you have the nine of needles and the eight of needles in your challenge row. Your guidance is the king of cups and the page of needles. And you move to the four of needles and the six of cups. Oh, and you have the devil at the bottom of the deck. 
Yeah, so you know, we all know about the devil's associations being sort of um, finding yourself trapped in a situation or in, in a um, environment where you know having after being led to that predicament through alluring through attraction. Um, it's sort of almost about overdoing things, so it sort of relates to um, addiction as well as relationships and situations becoming stale. So it's about um, finding that you've sort of allowed yourself or you've given over your power to something and are feeling trapped. And that sort of really fits in here with your challenge card, which I'll be getting to. Let me just move them down a tad so you can see them nicely. But where you start is actually really positive, actually. Um, you've got the sun and temperance. So the sun is, you know, being finding a time of joy and happiness and being able to appreciate all that is good. Reveling in good times, really. It's a card of success and attainment as well. There's a sense of growth and abundance about you. But you needing to moderate that. I get a sense here, you know, when we put all the cards together, you may need to um, temper your your enthusiasm for fear of finding yourself um, lured into or, or sort of put, you know, for fear of putting yourself into a situation that becomes stale and um, a situation that makes you feel trapped. Um, so even on a conscious level, although there's this, something that's brought a great deal of joy and happiness and positivity, optimism into your life at this point, there's a, an awareness that you need to balance, um, moderate the, the enthusiasm here. Because, you know, you've got your challenge rows being the nine of needles and the eight of needles or the nine of swords and the eight of swords. So there's a sense of worry and um, despair, you know, fear even and um, anxiety. Perhaps even, you know, like thinking, overthinking things. But it's linked to a, a feeling of being tied down to something that, you know, you sort of feel there's no way out. You have no choice. And that sort of really links in with the devil there because, you know, that's sort of that feeling that you've been tied down to something that you can't get out of it. But even though this sort of particular devil doesn't depict it that well, you can still see these, um, what would be chains holding these little creatures prisoner to the the devil and the idea is that if you look carefully these are very loosely wound and they can simply you know it's a matter of choice a matter of perceiving that you can actually make the decision to extricate yourself from the situation um So how do you make that decision? How do you decide that you, you're not as trapped as you feel you worried or fear you are? You have the King of Cups. This is about, you know, maybe it sort of suggests seeking a compassionate and understanding mentor who can guide you through this. Someone, you know, having a nice, I get a sense of having a chat with someone who's a good listener, someone who is supportive who themselves may have gone through a lot of turmoil or trouble and therefore they can uh, have the genuine um, empathy for for you in a, this current situation but this person will point to you to, towards finding the truth towards seeking out the truth so you may be you know I get a sense of being told something you may not want to hear, something that's a bit abrasive, a bit difficult. However, it's the truth, and you've been called to seek the truth, to sort of like use your um, 
intuitiveness, your curiosity to delve into things, to really actually really think about things, but not in a sp downward spiraling way, but in a constructive way. Um, so, you know, this is sort of speaks to you f finding the truth, go, you know, sort of being willing to learn and seek the truth and put that into action. But don't worry, you move through this difficult period to a time of rest and actually getting a new perspective. The Four of Needles is not only about taking yourself out of the battle scene, but also through that stepping away from the, the difficulties, through, you know, getting, uh, stepping back and getting a new respect new um, perspective of things so you take a break from the worry and the overthinking almost and you um, can get thereby gain not only a bit of healing a bit of respite but also a new perspective and there's a sort of almost a sense of returning to this place of happiness um, you know, returning with nostalgia and innocence once again to a time of kindness and happiness where the give and take is reciprocated, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a loving way. So although you sort of this depicts you going through a bit of a trial, a bit of a um, rite of passage almost, you come out through the other side returning to that sense of happiness and your oracle cards sort of sort of say here yeah, they they really fit in here you really need to find that um guidance with through from someone who is compassionate and quite laid back really um but you need to be willing to hear what is being um, advised even if it's something that you may find ab abrasive or difficult to accept you need to um, also then rather than simply worrying think in a constructive way um, or how you can detach yourself from something that's become stale or difficult or un toxic. Um, but through that, you move towards a, a time of recuperation, rest, um, recovery, and gaining a new perspective, and then being able to revisit that happiness with um, a sense of joy, with a sense of ease yeah so that's the message I get from the cards you know being in a good position and um, even then wary that you need to um, balance or temper your enthusiasm because it may well lead you to the, the spoiling of that happy situation and um, your challenge is not to think or over worry about it in a downward spiral, but rather try and solve it in a constructive, through constructive thoughts and um, detection, using a bit of um, detective work there. Um, and then, um, you know, as part of your challenge, there's a sense that you can't get out of the situation, you've trapped yourself in it to it but um, through more constructive thinking and taking some guidance from someone who is a good um, compassionate supportive energy for you and hearing what they have to say taking it on board and be willing to work with it you move towards a recovery rest from all this distress and uh, return to you know like a return to innocence return to that joy so there you have it, Leo. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons and then have a good two weeks and God bless you till we meet again.